You know, a lot of folks have been asking about this one. Well, mixing and matching brands of COVID-19 vaccines may offer a bigger boost of immunity to many Americans. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Shira Darone, the hospital epidemiologist at Tufts Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you, Dr. Darone. So vaccine experts at the FDA plan to discuss this new federal study on Friday, but you've had a chance to read through it today, so you, you know what's in it. What does it tell you about the benefits of getting a Moderna or a Pfizer shot if you're fully vaccinated with the J&J, for example? Well, the study enrolled individuals who were fully vaccinated with each of the three types and divided them into groups, giving them the same or different types as their booster. Now, people who had initially received J&J &J developed greater increases in their antibody levels if they received Pfizer or Moderna as a booster than if they received their second J&J &J shot as a booster. So that could equate to better protection, but the study wasn't specifically designed to determine that nor were these participants followed long term for the duration of this protection. Got it, got okay, it. So still some more questions mm -hmm. there. Hey, as you know, though, J&J &J is already asking the FDA to authorize the second shot for the 15 million Americans who got that vaccine. So do you think the results of this study make that less likely? I don't think this affects whether the FDA will authorize J and J booster shots, but it might affect whether the CDC mm -hmm. recommends that J and J recipients seek a second dose of J and J as their booster, or whether instead they recommend that they receive Pfizer or Moderna mm -hmm. as their booster. So the FDA and CDC advisory committees that are coming up will be very interesting. So Dr. Drew, most Americans received both doses of either the Pfizer or Moderna. So does this study show any benefit or even a, even a risk? of switching to a different brand for a booster shot. You know, take the other if you got the other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it doesn't appear from this small study that there would be a benefit to switching between Pfizer and Moderna. And the study wasn't large enough to assess risk. So I don't anticipate that we'll see any recommendations on mix and match for Pfizer and Moderna recipients, at least not based on this particular study. Okay. You know, we all know there's still a lot of political debate in this state around the country about vaccine mandates. And right now we know thousands of local workers making a choice between a COVID vaccine and their job. What would you want them to know? There's a major misconception that I'm hearing a lot during discussion about vaccine mandates. And that's the idea that the vaccine doesn't prevent transmission. So what's the point of a mandate? The vaccine absolutely does prevent transmission. It's no longer 90% effective like it was in the early days pre-Delta, mm -hmm. but it still prevents infection at least five-fold. And if you don't get infected, you don't transmit. So having a fully vaccinated workplace does keep everybody safer. That's the bottom line. Dr. Mm -hmm. Darone, thank you so much. Appreciate your time.